This is one example of a mole conversion problem. We're asked to calculate the number of molecules in a 7.84 gram sample of PCL3. We can use a diagram like this for most simple mole conversion problems. It shows you how to find the pathway from one quantity to another. You should be able to draw something like this from memory. In this problem, we're given grams and we're asked to find the number of molecules. In going from grams to molecules, our first step is to go from grams to moles. And our second step is to go from moles to molecules. So we summarize our steps in a plan, grams to moles to molecules. We start by writing down 7.84 grams of PCL3. And our first step is to convert grams of PCL3 into moles. So we multiply by a conversion factor that changes grams of PCL3 to moles. The unit we have is grams of PCL3 and we need to cancel it. So we write grams of PCL3 on the bottom of our conversion factor so it can be cancelled later. The unit we want in our first step is moles. So we write moles of PCL3 on the top of our conversion factor. We always write a 1 by the mole in all conversion factors using the mole diagram. And by the grams, we need to write the molar mass of PCL3. The atomic mass of phosphorus is 31.0 grams per mole, and we add 3 times 35.5 for the three chlorine atoms, which gives us a total of 137.5 grams per mole for the molar mass. So we write 137.5 by the grams of PCL3. Our next step is to convert moles of PCL3 to molecules. So we write a times and set up another conversion factor. Since we're going from moles to molecules, we need to cancel the unit moles of PCL3. So we write moles of PCL3 on the bottom of our conversion factor. The unit we're trying to find in this conversion is molecules of PCL3. So we write molecules of PCL3 on the top of our conversion factor. Again, we write a 1 by the mole. And the number of molecules per mole is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. This is called Avogadro's number. Note here that some textbooks use the more precise value of 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, but in our examples here, we'll just use a 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And now we have all the conversion factors we need. So we'll cancel out the unit grams of PCL3 and the unit moles of PCL3, and we're left with the unit molecules of PCL3, which is what we wanted. So here, we write molecules of PCL3 as the unit for our answer. So the final answer is 7.84 divided by 137.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, which comes out to 3.43 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of PCL3. The lowest number of significant figures in our question and conversion factors was 3, so our answer is rounded to 3 significant figures.